The U.S. Treasury has imposed sanctions on Hong Kong Chief Executive Carrie Lam and 10 other top officials from Hong Kong and mainland China. The sanctions were used to target those undermining Hong Kong's autonomy, said Treasury Secretary Stephen Munching, adding that the United States stands with the people of Hong Kong. The move comes weeks after China imposed a controversial national security law on Hong Kong, which critics say threatens its freedom. U.S.-China tensions continue to escalate. Earlier this week, the Trump administration moved to ban U.S. transactions with the Chinese owners of WeChat and TikTok apps. Today, I signed legislation and an executive order to hold China accountable for its oppressive actions against the people of Hong Kong. The Hong Kong Autonomy Act, which I signed this afternoon, passed unanimously through Congress. This law gives my administration powerful new tools to hold responsible the individuals and the entities involved in extinguishing Hong Kong's freedom. We've all watched what happened. Not a good situation. Their freedom's been taken away, their rights have been taken away, and with it goes Hong Kong, in my opinion, because it will no longer be able to compete with free markets. Among those sanctioned are Hong Kong's police commissioner and several political secretaries. The U.S. Treasury directly accused Ms. Lam of implementing Beijing's policies of suppression of freedom and democratic processes. In 2009, Lam pushed for an update to Hong Kong's extradition arrangement to allow for extradition to the mainland setting off a series of massive opposition demonstrations in Hong Kong, the U.S. Treasury added in a statement. On Saturday, the Hong Kong government branded the move blatant and barbaric interference in the internal affairs of the People's Republic of China using Hong Kong as a pawn. Ms. Lam's spokesman said she would not be intimidated. Mrs. Carrie Lam said, We are discharging an honorable duty to safeguard national security protecting the life and interest of not only 7.5 million Hong Kong people, but also the 1.4 billion mainlanders. Luo Hunin, Beijing's representatives in Hong Kong, is among those sanctioned. He said the measures were ridiculous. Hong Kong Commerce Secretary Edward Zhou called the sanctions disproportionate and one of retaliation against U.S. businesses in the region. The 11 sanctioned officials will have all property in the U.S. seized and financial assets frozen.